Okay, Salawam, Salawam. Call me as Allah. Call Haloyim Allah. Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Chachakudash. To be honest, to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say Tawada to all the Akim and Achwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um,. Just wanted to touch on this particular article because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, <laughs> we say it all the time. When this man gets his hands on something, he destroys it. This man is a destroyer, man. Now, it says long, a long dormant lake has reappeared in California, bringing havoc along with it. So them trying to be smart, them trying to outsmart the Lord, you know. The Lord didn't make this right. He didn't do this right. Because that's basically the attitude that they had. They had this attitude that, you know, the Lord done made all these mistakes. We're going to correct them. Because they have that God-like complex. They, they can't look at stuff and say, hey, the Lord created that. Let's leave that alone. See, when the, when the, when the so-called Native American Indians, were they, they respected the earth. And that's the reason why, you know, um, we have to go into rulership. Our Lord has to come back and take these people out of power. Because I say it all the time. If these people continue to rule, nothing will last. This is a perfect example of um, them just just messing with stuff that they shouldn't be messing with. Okay, it says, um, matter of fact, let's see. They got a video here. Let's see what they say in this video. That we can get it to play. If not, I'll just read some of this. California's parade of atmospheric rivers has left the region in a state of that. mayhem and misery. But tonight, the deluge also bringing a brighter side to the darker days. These storms are, are really helping with our deficit, but we've had so many severe drought years that it's going to take a while to pull out of them. In a stunning reversal from September, when 94% of California was in severe drought, today just 8% of the state is. The storms ending mandatory water restrictions for millions. It means that we're no longer worried about entire towns going dry. As fertile farmland gets the water it desperately needs, the easing of California's drought will be seen in grocery stores and felt in pocketbooks nationwide. And while there's been minimal impact to the Colorado River, which quenches much of the West, this is the dramatic change in California's reservoir system, now filled to 70% of capacity. The snowpack is at 223% of average. Snowpack is it's kind of the mother nature's reservoir. But 200 to 300% of average snowpack is is nothing short. You see, they get to talking that mother nature shit. There's no such thing as mother nature. The Lord created these things, man. And he created everything in an order. All these things have circuits, man. But you'll have this man, he'll go in and he'll just start to do shit that goes totally against the, the, the word of Yahweh. Totally against what the Lord, how the Lord set it up. And now you got a damn disaster on your hands out here, right? It's spectacular. Because of all the winter moisture, the storms will likely mean a later start to the typically devastating fire season in the West. In the wake of catastrophe, a silver lining to the relentless number of storms. Okay, and, and, and they get what they deserve. You, you deserve this shit. Because see, this is what they done. Let me see. Let me just read some of this. It says, uh, people have worked for, for a century to make California's Tulare Basin into a food-growing paradise, right? That pastoral landscape, landscape now looks more like a um, Pacific Ocean in many areas. Months of atmospheric river storms have pummeled the area and saturated the basin soil, which sits about halfway between San Francisco and Los Angeles, not far from Fresno. The rains have led to floods that damage towns and deluge farms and have begun to refill what was once a sprawling lake. This was a lake before, and guess what they done? Drained it. It says the floods have pitted neighborhood, neighboring property owners against one another and raised tensions over how to manage the flow, which have damaged hundreds of structures, and more water is on the way. <laughs> It says, experts say a months-long, slow-burning crisis will play out next. A historic snowpack looms in the mountains above the basin. As it melts, it is likely to put, to put downstream communities through months of torment. The flooding, which follows several years of extreme drought, showcases the weather whiplash typical of, of California, which facilitates 
between too wet and too dry. The influence of climate change can make the state's extremes more intense. Look, these people got to be taken out of power. You're the reason why everything is messed all up, man. It says, this is slowly unfolding natural disaster, said Jeffrey Mount, a senior fellow at the Water Policy Center of the Public Policy Institute of California. And that's another thing, too. You know who's running the world because they're the ones that's coming up with these agencies. They're the ones, you know, that's why we go, when we go into Job 9 and 24, matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Job 9 and 24 real quick. Because this man is the only man on the planet that, 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 that's, you know, he's making rules like this. You know, he's able to go and say, hey, you know what? We're going to drain that lake. You know, you think the so-called white, uh, blacks, Hispanics, or Native Americans are going to have a, I, you all know, today we're just going to drain a lake. You know what? We, we should drain that lake. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, Jake not into stuff. We're not into stuff like that, man. That's why the scripture says that Jacob was a plain man. And, and, and this man is just out of control, man. Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If this man is not the wicked, then who is? Because I'm telling you, man, that no, nobody thinks like this man. Who, who thinks of draining a lake? Who actually is in power to say, hey, you know what? We, we, we're going to give the licenses, the, um, the permits, the, um, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the know-how, you know, we're going to pull in these people, we're going to pull in these people, and we're going to go, and we're going to drain this lake. Who do you think is in power to do that? It's the so-called white man. He's the one that's making these rules and regulations, man. You, you better believe no other nation of people had anything to do with this other than them. You see? Well, let's go back, though. Because they drained this lake like about 100 years ago. But see, the Lord got a sense of humor. He like, up, oh, yep, well, here you go. I'm going you know, I'm to I'm put it back. <laughs> and I'm going to you know, destroy all your shit while I'm doing it. Okay, it says, um, the, re the reforming Talir Lake, which was drained for farming a century ago. Now, why would you drain a lake for farming when you got all that damn land that you can farm on around it? See? But this is how greedy this man is. And then... <clears throat> they don't respect the land Sabbath. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find that. Let's see here. Because you suppose it's the, the land should have a Sabbath every seven years. Let me see. Did I spell that right? Oh, no, I didn't. Let's see if it pops up. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, uh. Let's get the law here. Okay, here we go right here. Leviticus 20. Let's go all the way into it real fast. Start from the top. See, it says the sabbatic year and year of Jubilee. Okay, it says at verse 1. Leviticus 25 and 1. And Yahweh spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. This man won't even keep a, a regular Sabbath. So you know he's not going to keep a land Sabbath. That's why you can't get no growth. That's why you can't get, you know, 100% of crops, you know, so to speak. You're only getting a smidgen of the crops, man. You're not getting the full yield. It says six years thou shalt sow thy field. In six years thou shalt prune thy vineyards. And gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of, of rest unto the land. A Sabbath for Yahweh. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard. You think the so-called white man is going to keep these laws? They claim they're Christians. They stole this country in the name of white Jesus. Right? But they're not going to keep these laws, man. And that's the point right there. You know, I don't, you know. Because we're supposed, you know, it's supposed to be a land Sabbath. But, but but if you notice, you know, the Lord was talking to the children of Israel. But where do you think a lot of these these countries get their what customs they do have, so to speak, from? They they really get a lot of their stuff from the, the 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 Israelites. But then they, you know, they take from it, you know, and and and, and flip it and do little things, you know. But anyway, let's see what else we can get out of this. Okay, it says, um, They drained it a, a, a century ago. 
could remain on the landscape for years, disrupting growers in a region that produces a significant proportion of the nation's supplies of almonds, pistachios, milk, and fruit. High stakes decisions over where the water travels could resonate across the grocery um, grocery store shelves. In farming communities that dot the historic land bed, accusations of sabotage levies, frantic efforts to patch breach banks and feuds, common occurrences during flood flights in the area have started already. So these people, they're ready to buck, man. People ready to fight against each other over this. Now, the main people that's going to get their thing popping is, see, they got a railroad. They just went in and done their thing. It says in a nearby town of Allensworth last month, a dispute over a covert caused anxiety and friction with the railroad that sends trains through town. Residents worked until the night to plug a culvert, a drain under Highway 43 with plywood and sandbags in a desperate effort to keep floodwaters out of town. But later that night, workers with the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad unblocked the pipe which left some Ellensworth residents fuming as the water flowed closer. See, <laughs> you think the, uh, uh, see the government going to run with the, um, that, that, that train company, man. And it's been a lot of train derailments, a lot of that shit. Cause they, they, you know, Hey, when you, matter of fact, when you play like the game Monopoly, if you've ever played the game Monopoly, you see the utility things on the board like you know the, the things to you know things to own on there because it was constant money you know if you had sense enough you know a lot of people would you know try and get boardwalk and all these you know the, the, the you know the bigger properties but with some of the main things to own on the on the on the board of monopoly is the, the railroads <laughs> straight up because it was constant money the railroads and that electric hookup man it wasn't like you know if you was getting a lot of money out of it like how you would if you own you know the boardwalk and all this other stuff, you know, along that strip with the green, you got houses on it. It wasn't like that, but it was consi it was a consistent flow of money, okay? But you know they're not about to stop these um, railroads. Um, they're going to unplug that shit. Yeah, they have to keep things moving. They're not thinking about you and your house and your house flooding. Matter of fact, I just passed on um, when I was going to camp yesterday. There was a whole lot of streets that was flooded out, and I was seeing people trying to... Um, you know, don't you know, trying to basically un un unblock drains and things of that nature, man. Okay, but I'm not going to go too much further into this. But as you can see, look at the floods. This lake is returning. And like I said again, who thinks of, of draining the lake, man? Only this so-called white man would do, do such a thing. And matter of fact, look at this shit. <laughs> Good form, too. Good form. Good form. We're not we're not praying for or this to stop because the Lord is giving all the all, you know California been getting that business as of late man from the Lord the Lord is starting to um the, starting to um you know visit this place you see well, let me go up into um let's go into this Ecclesiastes right because the Lord man he created all this stuff for a reason you get to you know you know messing with his his creation. And you throw things out of order. The Lord is about order. That lake was there for a reason. Here you go. You <laughs> drain it out. Then a hundred years later, it comes back. But it's done. Um, it's done. Actually, came back a few times. I think it came back in the seventies, and then it came back in the nineteen eighties, and then, of course, this year is supposedly going to be worse because they have a lot of snow. So once that snow drain off, once that snow melts, that's all water. That's going to come through and 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 <laughs> you know just flood it out even more. See, and you so-called white people, man, y'all got a lot to pay for, man. Because you know what they've they, they've done they've done as well. They have man-made lakes. They have diverted water over the over over um, so-called black towns, man. You see these so-called white people? They be out here jet skiing. They be jet skiing. It's a city under that water <laughs> where so-called blacks used to live. Straight up, you can look it up. Matter of fact, I probably could do it. But let me see here, though. Let's just get these couple of scriptures real quick. This man is out of control, man. Okay, let me see here. Let me start from verse 3 here. Ecclesiastes 1 and 3. What profit hath a man of all his labor, which he, which he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh. See, that's a, that's a cycle. That's, that's order. But the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteneth to his place where he arose. See? That's a that's a circuit, man. And you know this man, 
was, uh, you know, was talking about plans of trying to block the sun out, talking about climate change. Who, who, who thinks of shit like that? The so-called white man. You are not about to come across no black person, no so-called black person, and say, and, 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 a, and a thought, you know, just arises like, you know, hey, we're going to, you know, it's hot. We're going to block out the sun. Nobody thinks of shit like that but these so-called white people in the name of their science, man. It says, the wind goeth towards the south and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. See that? The Lord made everything perfectly. He, don't need, he doesn't need your damn help, man. But I tell you, man, this man, he has a God complex. Here's the point. It says, all the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place from whence the rivers come, thither they return again. See? So that lake is returning. <laughs> you know? See, you so-called white people, you think you're so goddamn smart and you're greedy as hell. Because there was plenty of ways. I mean, you got to drain a lake to do some farming. Then it backfires on your ass. But anyway, let's get this. Um, this Revelation. What's the lock here? Revelation. Um, what's that? 11 and 18. Yeah. It says, and the nations were angry. And thy wrath is come. In the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou should have given reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, it's small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. <coughs> so like you. So see, the Lord, he's coming to destroy those that destroy the earth, man. And, and, and that main culprit in this, in this destroying of the earth is the so-called white man, Esau Edom, man. You see, this man, hey, this man is notorious for this type of stuff. Let me see if I can, um, <coughs> slock you. Let's get, um, I want to see if they, let me just try it like this. I'm going to put in lakes covering black towns. Oh, I ain't even had to even see it, and it actually um, popped up. I ain't even had to go all the way into it. Wow. See, five black American towns hidden under lakes and ultimately from history books. See that? See that? See that? Matter of fact, let's see. We let got some images on it. Oh, um, see? Esau them buried the damn towns and, 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 and now they out here, you know, with, you know, with boat houses and, and, and they, they out here jet skiing and shit. See? This man is a, is, is a damn destroyer, man. He uses everything as a weapon. See? These lakes, these lakes got towns underneath them. So, and the Lord actually, you know, he, <laughs> he be drying them boys up. Next thing you know, you'll see a whole city. Like, how did this happen? And, and that shows you the, the, the wickedness of their thought pattern, man. Like, how they get down. You know, you had to be a, a wicked damn genius, a wicked scientist, a wicked, you know, to think of something like that. Like, how, how do you convert, you know, water to flow through a path where it'll just flood out a whole town, man? I'm telling you, these people are boating over these towns, you know, um, um, they're jet skiing, they're fucking do, you know, they're doing they're, they're all this, all these things on this land. Well, see, you, you see, you so-called white people, y'all have a lot to pay for, man. And this lady right here, she actually spoke on it. I remember seeing that. That's how I ended up finding out finding out about it. This lady right here. She went into it. Sunken black history. See? And she went hard on the asses, man. And I think they was trying to um, you know, kind of delete her or whatever. Because you know, so-called white people, man, this is why they don't want critical race theory to be taught, man. Because if, if critical race theory is taught. And you can, matter of fact, they have it on YouTube. You can go go into this on YouTube if you want to watch. Um, you know, just just probably put in lakes covered, you know, covering black towns, and I'm sure plenty gonna pop up. I see one right here on the YouTube. This lady right here, I, I don't want to play hers, the Amber Ruffin show. I don't want to get a copyright uh, hookup. But anyway, I mean, the point is made. I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec, man. This man is clearly the destroyer, and 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 you can't get around it. You can't not get around this, man. That scripture where it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You think 
so-called black people can just be like, you know what? We're going to drain the lake. Them so-called white folk going to say, that. what the hell you think? You no, you don't get no. Because you, you know why? Because they're the ones that's in control of the permits to do such a thing. The, the licenses that you would need. You know, the tax code, the disc code, the disc code. See, they're, they're, they're the ones that's running things. We don't have no say in, in what happens in this earth, man. And that goes off into, um, I think, that second address 6 and 54, I think, or, or on down. Where he talks about the earth was made for our sake. But why don't we have an um, inheritance in it? Roughly paraphrasing. We don't have an inheritance in this place. We just here, man. We just working. They just enslaving us still and taking taxes from us to do what they want to do. That's it, man. Can't get around it. So I just wanted to touch on that. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Ashola.